Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your very own modern house. You might be able to see that I have also designed the interior for you, but you won't get to see that until the end of the video. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make your house. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of that stuff, we can get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is place a row of nine smooth quartz block extending up from the ground. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We then want to take that row of nine and we want to extend it backwards by eight rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that means the entire row. So the entire row of nine will get extended backwards by eight, and then that will give us a nice nine by nine block area. So what we're essentially making is a square, and that will look like this. Well, we want to take our square, we want to grab birchwood planks, and we want to place a row of birchwood planks, one row inwards on the front and back of the square, that is equal in height to the top of the square and these want to be placed on the right hand side. What we can then do is we can, starting from the bottom of the rows of birch, we want to leave a gap of two and then place rows of one, two birchwood planks extending outwards. So once again, leave a gap of two, one, two. Leave a gap of two, one, two. Now, the purpose for this is we are then going to place a row of grey concrete directly to the right of what we have just made. It will join everything together. We can then extend the row of grey concrete one row forwards like this. We can take the top of the row of grey concrete and extend it to the right by two, one, two, and then we can join it all the way down to the ground just like this. The grey concrete wants to get extended backwards. The exact same amount that the white concrete did, or should I say, block of quartz. We haven't used white concrete, but you guys get the idea. It wants to get extended as far backwards as the quartz block that we have on the opposite side. We then want to copy the same row of grey concrete that we have on the front, we want to extend the inward row of grey concrete one row inwards like this. We can join it together at the top of the build front to back like so. We can on the back of the build also extend the same birch plank blocks to the left as we did on the front like this. So that's looking pretty perfect. If you want, you can also make the same indentations using grey concrete horizontally as the birch planks that we have just next to us as well. Up at the top of the build, it's kind of up to you how you want to deal with this specifically, but this area needs filling in. You can do it in a multitude of ways. You can perhaps just add a dividing row of birch like this and then place some glass block in the top of it. Or you could perhaps create kind of like a similar shape to what we have to the right of us and fill it in. It doesn't matter as long as you find a, a way to actually fill the top of the build in that you like. And I also want to fill the gray concrete part in using glass as well. On the front and the back of the build, we want to place rows of smooth quartz slabs extending across the top of the horizontal rows of birch wood planks that we placed earlier. And of course, the same wants to be done on the back. I think I mentioned that, but I'll repeat myself because I'm used to it anyway. There we go. Perfect. On the back of the build, we can actually fill all of these windows in. Now, these windows can be filled in using light blue glass pane. We're going to do this for absolutely every window that we can. So, all along the back. There's only one thing that I would recommend doing, and I'll show you in a second, right? So, I would fill in underneath the windows using the same material that the window is made out of. So on the back here we have the grey concrete of course, and then just off to the side we have the birch. Looks just a little bit nicer. 
On the front of the build, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fill all the windows in using light blue glass pane. Starting with the birch, because there's one, there's one thing here. I'm going to destroy in between the grey concrete area. I'm going to stick a door there. Grey concrete above, and then light blue glass pane extending upwards. And boom, there you go. Oh, also, underneath the birch window, we're also going to place birchwood planks as well. That just makes sense. And there we have it. That is the house, ladies and gentlemen. Now, that's the complete structure done. What I am now going to do is I'm going to go away. I'm going to decorate the outside. I'm going to decorate the inside for you. And I'm going to show you how it can look once it is done. Because, of course, everything from here onwards, that's the structure of the house done, is completely optional. And I'll leave it up to you whether you want to add the same detail or similar to me. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is what your house will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. We have added a little bit of decoration to the outside, along the back and the front. We have added a grass path and some flowers. Along the sides, we have added some leaves, jungle leaves specifically. And if we come inside, I can show you the interior. So the interior is laid out quite nicely. We have smooth quartz floors. They're divided into even sections where the natural splits in the house are so where the birch wood planks are on the outside that is where the floors are the ground level floor is just an entire crafting area slash smelting area slash storage area you can see absolutely everything that we have in this room the ladders are located where the grey concrete connects to the windows on the left and right sides of the build. The second floor has a bit of armour, it has a little bit of enchantment and a little bit more storage, a bit of a repair station. And finally, the third floor as we get up to the top of it, the last thing that we need is a brewing room, including a bedroom, including mass storage, including a cheeky little ender chest hidden there in the corner. And that's it. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me in the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. I'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, please check out the card system in the description below and the top of the comment section for more. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.